Do I have enough footage? Okay, yes I do. Hello everybody, and tell you if I game here, y'all saw the STG44 fail. So, yeah, so today we're going to be comparing probably one or two guns this time, but let's just make them quick. So, we're going to talk about the Uzi, or the Mini Uzi, and then the Python. So, the Mini Uzi, it's... It's a 32 round submachine gun and with a high fire rate. Shit, sure, I forgot to add bots, didn't I? Yeah, bowl. Anyways, the Uzi is in the first Modern Warfare to, uh, I think Black Ops? Black Ops 2? So, it's not really that. So, it's a really good gun, actually. It's been presented in the campaign uh, multiplayer for game for the games, and then zombies for Black Ops Two. Mob the Dead only though. And anyway, when you pick what's Uzi, I forgot what it's called. But anyways, this gun is good for racking up points in zombies. And. You know, it's just like it's not a really bad submachine. It's not really a bad submachine gun when you use it. I think it has like 25 rounds in zombies. It okay, so I guess next we'll talk about the Python. Now the Python, it's not a bad mat. It's not a bad revolver, but it's not my favorite. This is a uh, six-round revolver. It it is in Black Ops and Black Ops Two. When well, Black Ops Two, it only made it into zombies. And like when you pack a bunch of this, it's called the Cobra. But since it's called like and it's like a twelve-round, has a speed reload. And yeah, speed reload, I recommend this attachment when playing multiplayer. Otherwise, you're gonna feel a lot you're gonna feel like this gun's useless. Screw the ammo and the freaking care packages. I'm not even trying. Headshot. Okay, so like this So this like this is a handgun, it's for the pistols only. And it's not really that, it's not really that bad. Cause like, I mean, it's a, like, what I don't get about Magnums in Call of Duty is that until up to the point in Black, like until Black Ops 2 came out, like this, like the freaking Magnums are useless. It's supposed to be one shot kill to the head because of how OP Magnums are supposed to be. The execution of that gun, the 44 Magnum totally improved, only because like it's supposed to be a one-shot killer to the head. But then when like the 44 Magnum never did that until Ghost. I. But anyways, the uh, Uzi, the Python, are really good guns. Like. Like, I recommend to put the Uzi with like a grip or something. And the Python with a speed reload, otherwise, you're gonna be screwed. So, yeah, thank you all for watching this video. We mentioned two guns in this. I might mention two guns in the next video. You might, you may have to do this Russian style. So, so in the next video, we're gonna be talking about the AK 47 and the CZ 75. No, I lied, the Makarov. Because, well, let's face it, like this, like everybody knows at least the AK-47. Like, it's been, it's been here for years. Up until the point when they changed the AK. So we're going we're gonna to talk about the change of the AK in the next video. So yeah, we're going to be talking about more than just the AK-47. This may be, this may be the biggest video I've probably ever made. But if so, I really don't care. Y'all gonna watch it. Y'all gonna like it. 
if you guys don't want to watch it, then check out my other check out my other videos created by me. And well, yeah. If you guys want other people to be in my videos, just ask in the comments down below. Like, I'll bring somebody, okay? Okay, just forget what I just said. Thank you all for watching this video. I hope you guys have a great day. Next up, AK-47 sees it. Makarov, jeez. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.